Welcome to Fight Cancer Global's informational video series. Our aim is to empower individuals with knowledge and resources to combat cancer. Today's video will explore the staging of leukemia and what it means for treatment options, offering valuable insights and actionable steps to aid you and your family in the fight against cancer. Staging is a critical part of understanding any type of cancer, including leukemia. It refers to the extent of the disease in the body and plays a significant role in determining the appropriate treatment plan. Unlike many other cancers, leukemia does not form solid tumors, so it's not staged in the traditional way. Instead, the types of leukemia, acute lymphocytic leukemia, ALL, acute myeloid leukemia, AML, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL, and chronic myeloid leukemia, CML, are often classified by how quickly they progress and which cells they affect. For acute leukemias, all in AML, the staging is generally not applicable because these diseases are aggressive and are found in the bone marrow and often in other organs at the time of diagnosis. The most critical factor is whether it's in remission, meaning the signs and symptoms of the cancer have reduced or disappeared. Chronic leukemias, on the other hand, do have a staging system. For CLL, the most widely used system is the RISE staging system. This classifies the disease into low, stage 0, intermediate, stage 1 and 2, and high risk, stage 3 and 4, based on factors like the number of lymphocytes, whether there is anemia or thrombocytopenia, and if there is an enlargement of the liver or spleen. For CML, the staging system typically includes three phases, chronic phase, accelerated phase, and blast phase. The chronic phase is the earliest stage and has the fewest blast cells. The accelerated phase is a transitional phase, and the blast phase, or crisis phase, is the most severe with more than 20% blast cells in the blood or bone marrow. The stage of leukemia impacts the treatment options. For example, in the early stages of CLL or the chronic phase of CML, monitoring may be the only action required immediately, while other stages or more aggressive forms may require treatments like chemotherapy, targeted therapies, or stem cell transplant. The genetic or molecular features of the leukemia cells can also influence treatment. Some genetic changes may indicate that certain treatments are likely to be more or less effective. The patient's overall health and age will also influence treatment decisions. For example, intensive treatments may not be suitable for people with significant health issues beyond leukemia. Lastly, the availability of a stem cell donor can influence treatment options, particularly in cases where a stem cell transplant is considered. In summary, staging leukemia involves considering the type and progression rate of the disease, the patient's overall health and age, the genetic features of the leukemia cells, and the availability of a stem cell donor. These factors collectively guide doctors in recommending the most effective treatment strategy. Thank you for viewing this informational video brought to you by Fight Cancer Global. For additional content and support, you can visit our website at www.fightcancerglobal.org where you will discover a great many resources as well as a supportive community that knows your cancer journey. Let us join forces and make a meaningful impact in the fight against cancer.